What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course today is the big summer update, update 1.11. Now these patch notes are going to be linked down in the description below. I'm not going to go over every single detail because these are extremely long patch notes. I'm going to kind of hit the high points. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Of course the three new roles, Bounty Hunter, the Trader, and the Collector. Of course the addition of the new Wheeler, Rawson, and Company Club has been added. This is kind of a free club membership to unlock some items also the outlaw uh kind of package comes with that as well the new outlaw club which we talked about that yesterday in a video that's kind of a battle pass that has to be paid for with the gold bars uh each role comes with on, its own specific content of course there's some new free roam events manhunt day of reckoning salvage and trade route new dynamic events new variations of clothing and outfits for each kind of role also some new variations of each weapon for each role eight new beard styles uh, that can be of course unlocked at the barber three of those have to be unlocked through role progression of course we got some new weapons that are just kind of particular to each individual class the lasso the bolus the machete the hammer and a new knife uh, visual variants like i said of certain weapons the bolt action the schofield the lancaster repeater the volcano sh uh, pistol and the pump action shotgun these have variants that kind of uh go along with each role that they represent new a new style of ammunition which is the tracking arrow uh, four additional weapon style modifications have also been added uh, some new uh, items of your kit uh, some three new items to your kit have been added on red dead online can be unlocked through progression of the collector role and those kit items are the metal detector a new pair of binoculars and of course a field shovel two types of wagons the bounty wagon and the hunting wagon three new types of horse breeds to be purchased in the stable 11 new emotes nine new passive ability cards sharpshooter kick in the butt live for the fight friends for life fool me once iron lung strength and numbers gunslinger's choice and ride like the wind of course folk the, the following skill upgrades are available to learn through the bounty hunter role progression focus gun sniping tonic satchel upgrade eagle eye and each individual kind of class just for an example that was kind of the example of what's going on with these each individual class has a good bit of kind of passive skills that they can have available to that class several new horse variations of equipment like saddle saddle bags and lanterns several new camp upgrades that you can uh, kind of do to your camp some of these are kind of style designs that are kind of fitting each role some of those are just upgrades for you know each particular role three new camp themes have been added a new set of daily challenges new awards have also been added two new uh, two new walk styles have been added also a lot of balance improvements um, kind of to the way the players uh, kind of look I guess you would say a lot of people have been wanting to change their appearance now you can change your appearance as long as you've made a character before this update you can change your appearance once for free after that each appearance change will cost a fee no kind of word on what that fee is yet until we get in game of course uh they have some just kind of changes for just overall movement and you know just balance of things like that to make things feel more fluid of course free aim improvements audio shops tons of general fixes uh just for you know whatever issues may be going on within the game um, of course improvement to your kind of inventory and economy uh, these improvements are going from things like players can now carry a maximum of 50 animal pelts players can now save up to seven costume outfits in their kind of inventory instead of just three and a lot of people will be happy about that the sale price of valuable items such as jewelry watches etc has gone up extremely uh, extremely well in price chest and lock boxes scattered across the world will now have loot in them uh, players can also purchase up to five additional stable slots to increase the number of horses they own play style improvements uh, a defensive mode icon has been added to players overhead ui to indicate if the players in defensive mode also an improvement to how much health you have while in defensive mode so hopefully defensive mode will be a bit better now than it was in the past showdown mode improvements a lot of ability card balancing and changes you guys may want to read over those there's a lot of those going on in this i don't want to sit here and bore you to death for 15 minutes talking about this stuff but a lot of balance with the ability cards you may need to be changing up your ability cards uh, as the game goes on of course weapon balancing and then 
what's left in these patch notes is a ton of content fixes and i mean a ton this these things go on forever whether it be menu crime and bounty audio dialogue that kind of stuff but i kind of wanted to kind of hit the high points let you guys know what's kind of the good things going on some of the quick stuff that i can tell you uh, without making this video too long but like i said check those patch notes out down in the description below let me know your thoughts and let me know if you've been enjoying the new update and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace